Today I'm going to go over how to use the blend tool in Adobe Illustrator and specifically how to use it to come up with some color schemes for a design whether it be a poster uh, or a web design or whatnot. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and click and hold onto the rectangle tool and choose the rounded rectangle tool and just click and drag and I'm going to hold shift so I have a perfect square here and you can choose if you pull out the swatches palette you can choose a color um, I just chose this kind of light blue and I'm going to go ahead and hide the artboard so you can just see this pretty clearly here make it a little bit larger okay what you want to do is hold down alt on the PC or option on the Mac and click and hold and hold shift to maintain that 90 degree angle and so we have two identical shapes here and I'm going to change this to uh, kind of a complementary color the orange there if you wanted you could go to window and then color guide and with one of them selected you can figure out a complementary color scheme but I think this one is fine for this example what you want to do is click and drag around both of them with the selection tool so both of them are selected then go ahead and go to Object, Blend, then Make. It automatically does a blend for you, but immediately go back to Object, Blend, Blend Options. And from here we can customize it. So you can just go to Smooth Color, and be a bunch of those. You can do Specified Steps, and you can use Specified Distance. And notice if you don't want uh, kind of that stroke around the edge like that, just get you can get rid of that before you do the blend. Uh, it just depends on what kind of look you want. I don't mind it for this example because um, we're going to do specified steps. So go ahead and specify step. Make sure previous selected so you can see what it'll look like. Go ahead and just do four and then click on one of these so it'll apply it and you can see what it comes up with. And I'll bring that down to three. And that's pretty good. Go ahead and hit OK. And it moves around as one unit. If you click the direct selection arrow and click one of them it still moves the entire thing, right? What you have to do is go to Object, Blend, and then Expand. That expands it, so now we have a bunch of different uh, shapes here. So you can move those around and use them however you need to. All right. So that's using the Blend mode to bring two shapes together and kind of make them blend but also in the in terms of this application we're coming up with color schemes you could experiment with that and try say a star and then something completely different like say a rounded rectangle and a different color and you can see how they change just make one a little bit larger actually That. and you select both of them object blend make and you can see how it changes from one to the other gradually alright so that's the blend tool uh, you can use it for different designs or logos and whatnot but specifically for a color scheme it can be useful for finding uh, certain kinds of hues in between the two at specified steps thank you